Well, a trial date has been set in the case of Stuart Weldon, the Springfield man charged with the murders of three women whose bodies were found in and around a Springfield home. A grand jury has handed down indictments, 52 of them, including murder, kidnapping and rape, three months later in August. Western Mass News reporter Caroline Power spoke exclusively with the Hamden County DA and brother of one of Weldon's alleged victims. She's here now with their stories. Caroline. Well, Dave and Beth, as you remember, the Stuart Weldon case gained international attention. Hamden County District Attorney Anthony Galuni hasn't spoken publicly about this case in many months, but he agreed to sit down with me earlier today to talk about what he calls one of his office's most complex and extensive cases. It's been almost a year since Stuart Weldon was arrested for kidnapping and later charged in the murders of Kayla Escalante, America Leiden, and Ernestine Ryans. Their bodies discovered in and around the Page Boulevard home where Weldon was living. The painstaking process of digging and searching for evidence around the Springfield home was around the clock for days. Now a trial date has been set for next April. We spoke with Ernestine Ryan's brother Anthony in Connecticut over FaceTime about the new developments. It seems so far away. It seems like that's an eternity. Uh, that was my first reaction. Hamden County District Attorney Anthony Galuni spoke exclusively with Western Mass News on Tuesday. He says Weldon's case comes with complications and a large amount of evidence. Two years is really not uncommon and again it doesn't indicate there's something wrong with the Commonwealth case or there's an issue with the defense. It's really just reflective again of the complications of the case, the forensic testing, the sharing of discovery both ways, uh, especially in a case like Stuart Weldon with 52 indictments, very serious charges of course. Um, those allegations and the evidence that comes there with are really voluminous and really complicated. District Attorney Galuni expects Weldon's trial to last several weeks with testimony from investigators, forensic and medical experts. The witness list will literally be over hundreds of, of individuals who could be called. I mean, I do understand that it is a process and they want to make sure they have all their ducks in a row. And um, it, it, I mean, from the victim, from us being the victim's family, it seems like it should be a cut and cut and dry case, the need to have this prolong, drag out this long. But I do understand the judicial system and yeah, everybody's entitled to a fair trial. But it does make it doesn't make it any comforting more comforting to know like we all have to wait. But we're gonna get it right and once we get it right, we hope that justice will be done. Now we reached out to Weldon's defense attorney for comment on the trial being set. Attorney Brian Murphy says Mr. Weldon's legal team will be using the time in the next year to continue our aggressive investigation into the accusations and prepare for a vigorous defense at trial. We will of course continue to follow this case closely and update you with any new developments. For Western Mass News, I'm Caroline Powers.